Welcome to Digital Trends, Digital Health Trends from America's Continental Health Alliance. I am Lucas Arriola. I'll be your host for today. And we are here with Thomas Sivinsky from Medical Simulation Technologies. And this is a, a great enterprise. We've been working from uh, uh, for a few months ago with Thomas. And well, Thomas, welcome to, to this Acha podcast. Acha video podcast, <laughs> and let's let's talk about the MST. Present yourself and present us our your company, please. Thank you, thank you, Lucas. Uh, thank you for invitation for having me here. I, I am very delighted. And um, so, uh, my company, Medical Simulation Technologies, provides advanced training simulators dedicated for cardiology professionals. Uh, our specialty are training systems for procedures based on echocardiography imaging. Our solutions help to gain hands-on experience, which significantly increases skills and performance of healthcare professionals on every level, from very beginners to advanced and experienced doctors. Excellent. Excellent, Thomas. Talk to me a little bit more about uh, your solution and and uh, some features that you have with with your solution. So many cardiovascular procedures pose challenges when attempting to practice without patient involvement. So what, what choice do we have? Some of techniques, of course, can be trained on cadavers or animals, but not all, and generally, we would like to avoid them and seek for an alternative solution. There are, of course, virtual reality or physical simulators, but most of them are characterized by limited level of reality reflection. Our value proposition is different. The systems delivered by MST are based on real patient data. We retrospectively collect CT scans of various patients with different anatomies and different cardiovascular disease cases. And we process this data to images that would be seen on echocardiography screen. So the images are 100% accurate in representing both anatomy and pathology. Uh, our simulators are not virtual. Although the simulation images are transformed in real time by the computer, the user operates by the probe that looks and behaves like the real TE or TTE probe. We have also the torso that represents patient and control panel for searching, uh, for setting up all the parameters of ultrasound wave propagation, like in regular echo machine. Therefore, the overall experience of users is actually as close to reality as possible. Excellent. So uh, I didn't I didn't hear the name of the of the <laughs> of the simulate simulation machine. Yes. So, so our first product is called Mr. Timothy. TE is acronym for transesophageal echocardiography. Absolutely, we have some some experience with Mr. T, and he's a very good guy. <laughs> okay, Take, talk to me a little bit about the if you have some validations or some evidence that you that you have collected in in these years of working, and some benefits for for the people who does use um, Mr. T and and what successful stories do you have in, in, in these years of working? Yes, sure. So our technology has been proven by dozens or even hundreds of trainings that we have organized since 2017. Uh, physicians appreciate the fidelity of simulation and the large database of pathological cases that we provide. Uh, our simulators are present now basically all over the world. We have customers on five continents. 
And uh, what is interesting, the users of our simulators are not necessarily doctors. For example, large medtech companies that produces, for example, mitral valve repair systems or other transcatheter devices use our simulators to help their engineers to improve their own technology. Because otherwise, those engineers would probably never have chance to practically learn how certain aspects of echocardiographer job looks like. Okay. Well, so um, your solution, Mr. T, worked with um, uh, data of uh, CT scans and then you transform a 3D model for using with the, with the equipment with Mr. T. And tell me a little, ba a little bit about uh, the technology and the security, because some of those data are uh, sensitive data from patients. That's right. That's, that's, a, that's a good question. Uh, basically, all files that we use in our systems come origin from, from real patients. But all of them are anonymized by the institution. So we acquire files from hospitals or clinics by retrospective search in their collection. Mm -hmm. And we have absolutely no access to page, any patient information. Uh, our specialists choose uh, only these files from the collection that has the best image quality and, of course, have interesting pathology. It is also possible for our customers to send us their own cases from their own patients, we can convert it especially for them and upload to their systems. But again, this data must be anonymized. Excellent, excellent. So the, the data of the patients that provides the CT scans is secure and anonymized, excellent. Well, looking ahead from for um, uh, MST, what are the plans and for the continuous development of, of Mr. Timothy or, or other solutions that you are thinking with MST? So uh, MST has now on the roadmap uh, two parallel and independent tracks. First of them is called MST Structural Heart. So in that direction, we are planning to develop new simulators for popular transcatheter inter interventions. Uh, in fact, one of them was very recently introduced and well accepted by interventional society. It is called Trinity and is used for uh, transeptal puncture training. Uh, the second track in, on our roadmap is called Heart Free. Because um, as we design and implement many algorithms, for CT data processing and for herd reconstruction, we are thinking now how to utilize this algorithm and this knowledge, not only in the field of education, but also in the field of diagnostics and therapies. We plan uh, together with our partners in this project from Spain, Argentina, USA, Israel, Sweden, uh, to use uh, emerging AI technology for support diagnosis and for planning cardiac procedures. Oh, that's awesome. That's excellent. I think we will be talking and presenting the new, the new products as, as soon as you release them because uh, it is a really, uh, really innovative technologies that you are trying to to create. So thank you very much, Thomas, for sharing with that this valuable information. We are super thrilled of that. If people is interested, uh, they can contact us in this post. We are going to uh, share with you our links and our LinkedIn profiles and everything. So you can ask for a demo for Mr. T from MST Technologies. And thank you very much for being here, Thomas. Thank you. Thank you, Lucas, for inviting me, for having me here. And if you have any further questions or would like to have more information, just feel free to, to contact me. Excellent. Thank you very much, Shoni. So that was it for this uh, 
video cast from Acha, and we will hope to see you again and have a nice week. <laughs>